In this video, we're going to have a look at the fleur de lis abdominoplasty. For a patient after massive weight loss, uh, where I removed 2.3 kilos of skin and removed 2 liters of fat from her abdomen. This is the result before. This lady had a sleeve gastrectomy done four years prior uh, to her consultation with me. She went from 125 kilograms to 83 kilograms when she saw me and she had been stable for six months. Um, she was concerned about loose skin in her lower abdomen. She was also getting rubbing and discomfort from loose skin as well as rashes from skin folds. Uh, when she did exercise, uh, the skin made an audible noise um, I'll <laughs> and she told me I, I like I have my own audience. This is the result after surgery. Let's get started. I initially start with the vasoliposculpture. This has three steps. I inject the wetting solution, then I do the vaser, and then I do the liposuction. With this case, I did nearly one hour of vaser. Once the fat is melted, we use gentle liposuction to remove the excess fat. We can see how the skin gets wobblier and wobblier the more fat I remove showing me that uh, there's less and less fat in the tissue. We have now passed the 1.9 kilograms of fat removed. Here I'm dissecting around the umbilicus or belly button to be able to get to the deeper tissues and be able to pull down the skin. The markings that are done pre-surgery are very, very important as these are the ones I follow when I make the initial incision in surgery. This patient has had a C-section incision and you can see how there's tethering of the tissues in that area. As I'm dissecting the tissues, I'm staying just under the scarpa's fascia, which I've mentioned in many videos before. The main difference uh, between the fleur de lis abdominoplasty and the normal abdominoplasty is that I am cutting the skin out from the middle of the abdomen and then bringing the sides in. This is important to make sure that we don't make the, it's very important to make sure that we don't make the excision too tight as I, I then will be end up with wound complication. That is why I do it like a trial excision with the sutures to bring the skin together to see if I can easily bring that skin together without uh, causing problems. Um, a surgical uh, marking pen is used to mark out the extent of the skin excision. The middle skin is closed. After this, we can treat the operation pretty similar like a tummy tuck. So we still want to tighten the lower part of the abdomen and make that as tight as possible. So I sit up the patient uh, usually about uh, 15, 20 degrees to make uh, the lower abdominal skin as tight as possible. I mark out the extent of the lower abdominal skin excision, very similar to what we would do with a uh, tummy tuck. 